on the table today at Squirrel Stampede. I have been so consumed by Godzilla X Kong the New Empire, I forgot about the other empire, the Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. How did that happen? Well, today we have a collection of Ghostbusters Frozen Empire items on table. What is going on with the squirrels? Are we just conjuring up the mighty ghost squirrel? Only just the most awesome, powerful afterlife squirrel you've ever met. And maybe an afterlife pizza, too. Guys, I don't know if you got the proper Squirrel Stampede table approval for this. Squirrels, chant with me! Lariquis! 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 Lariquis? What's that mean? It's squirrel backwards three times. Behold, ghost squirrel summons! <laughs> oh, yeah. ghost squirrel. Okay, those squirrels are really weird, but we've got Ghostbusters Frozen Empire items. We've got figures that are looking very interesting, kind of cartoony, but fun. We've got the Ecto-1 is back. This giant, giant Slimer is here. Good to see Slimer back. Also, a Gujitsu, a Heroes of Gujitsu Stay Puff is here. So, a variety of items for Ghostbusters Afterlife. Yeah, yeah, Ghost Squirrel on the table. That's not going to be good. How are we going to eradicate that? Uh, the candles, the candles will hopefully help there. So follow along as we go through these very interesting and awesome Ghostbusters. The new empire, the frozen empire. What empire is this? I don't even know anymore. What are the odds? Two empire sequels in like a week or two on the table. That, it, I'm just confused. 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 Share Ghost and Squirrel. Squirrel Live. Do you think we have enough candles on set today, squirrels? Do you think we have enough candles? Let's start with the action figures first. Gary Gruberson with Big Bird. Wait, that's not Big Bird. It's gotta be Pukey. Pukey with Ecto Stretch Tech with full on card bio Pukey Class 5 full roaming vapor. And that's what the Ecto Stretch Vapors do. I like that there's always a ghost involved with a Ghostbusters toy. Let's get out of pack. Oh, great. Where did they go? Where did they go? Why do I have to review ghosts? Ah, there's Gary. Wow, Gary action figure. You know, I gotta say, I think he looks more like Vinkman. I don't know, is it me or does he look more like Bill Murray than he does uh, Peter Rose? Or wait, what's his name? Paul Rudd. Peter Rose? Who's Peter Rose? I just love simplified 5.80 styles action figures. Basic, not over detailed, just ready for play. Like when you give a real life figure character kind of a cartoony look. For some reason plays better for a longer time. Proton power pack easily installed onto peg onto back there. And hand grip right on the particleizer, making for quick easy play. So a fun figure, he's gonna fit well right into that Ecto-1 I believe. And now we just have to hunt down, was it Pukey? Where, where did Pukey go? Anyone? Anyone? Bah! Pukey! So Ecto Stretch Pukey, this is quite fun, a soft but stretchable plastic. Really, really ugly and grotesque. And then you could take your poor figure and have him possessed by Pukey by just simply wrapping him around and then stretching, stretching all over. Oh, ah! Stretching all over your character, winding them up, uh, just hauntifying them all over. I love it. I love the simplicity yet playfulness of this uh, this great Hasbro item. And a killer price point too. These are running $10 a piece, which is very affordable in this insanely toy inflated market. Well, thank you Gary for stopping by. Who shall we check out next? I can't but help but like the Stranger Things kid, Trevor Spengler, with the return of Slimer to the toy line. Good to see them back in New York City. Slimer, class five full roaming vapor as well. And more with the Ecto Stretch Ghost Fright figure. So how about we see Trevor out of pack? Oh, great. You know, I understand Slimer kind of like teleporting through the box, but Trevor? Ah, ah, there's Trevor. Well, Trevor looking good. They've done such a fun cartoony job of capturing the actor's faces here. Although I will still say that uh, Paul Rudd here looks like Vinkman more. Uh, but. 
For the most part, at the price point, these are looking great. And perfect for simplified fun play. Where's Slimer? Where is Slimer? There is Slimer. And we'll get to the electronic Slimer just shortly, but here's just kind of a basic fun gooey of Vapor Class 5 for you. And of course, we can slime up poor Trevor here. You do this just right, it almost feels like Slimer is Trevor. You could really pack his arms into this guy. Oh, poor, poor Trevor. This is just such a fun idea uh, from previous, previous ideas. So now Trevor has been commandeered by Slimer and is now uh, being ghosted or what do you call that? A premonition? Uh, I can't remember. Uh, but that's a fun, fun Slimer toy. If you really stretch these, sometimes you can see like their face in there. Help me! Help me! But it works pretty well. So that was a fun one. Uh, Trevor looking good. And Trevor can take his Slimer off and, and go take five. And so speaking of Slimer and the toy that really saved and made this review possible, I was not sure if I was going to hit Ghostbusters or not. I'm definitely late. I kind of ignored it because I was so into Godzilla X Kong. But then when I saw this, the 40 plus sounds squash and squeeze a Slimer, I realized I missed something special. So I'm glad I was able to backtrack a little bit here. Let's see what this guy can do out of pack. And the real Slimer out of box. Yikes. Hideous. Very fun to see him portrayed in a modern toy line. Wow, those teeth. Fuggler-esque. Yuck. There's a lot of detail with this character figure. Soft and squishy all around. Even onto his backside. Not much of a tail there. And then flipping back to the front. Scale-wise, he's running in about six and a half, almost six and a half inches tall. And I think should have articulated arms here. We can pull out on pins and rotation points at the shoulder and elbow too. Nothing in the wrist. One finger is ready to pick though. I just can't get over the detail of this face though. Look at that. That is so, so well done. So to turn your Slimer on, I believe we have a couple double A's in there maybe. Uh, there's a, a middle switch for test mode and full on for activation. That's at least three new sounds. Four. I think we heard that one. Not that one. Look how soft his body pulls down. Oh my. So loaded, for sure, 40 sounds in there. Not sure how to pull all of those sounds out though. Squashing is your main approach, but I think also in the teeth. Something in there. Is it the tooth or is it, or is it the tongue? All right, I'm getting more mouthy noises by pressing in on that tongue. And then that finger nose. I think that's just more for looks. It fits. It actually fits right into his, his nose. That's some good, tight, tight articulation. So figure it out if you will. And also shaking. Let's try shaking. Huh, I'm not really getting much out of the shaking other than my full body going ay, 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 ay. So I'm mostly getting sounds out of the crush right now. That's pretty impressive though and it's gonna give your Ghostbusters team a run for their fun. You can see the scale. The scale of these guys. Typically Slimer isn't that big, is he? Good family photo though. So yeah, this Slimer toy got me back into the Ghostbusters and I could see why now it is fun. He's for sure a shelf piece or something by the key bowl to scare you when you throw your keys and sunglasses or I don't know. Wow, what a slime. Phoebe Spangler next. It's too bad they did not get the orange suits seen in the new one. We're going with mostly classic here. 
But that's okay, classic is good too. Phoebe Spangler here with what is that blue skeleton thing? It's Bonesy. Bonesy class three distinct human form. And also with the ecto stretch tech. Phoebe so Egon-esque, let's get her out. And that was fun. She almost has a Velma with shaggy hair look from Scooby-Doo Ghostbuster Doos. You know, after watching these, I keep thinking, wow, they could just model these new Ghostbusters with the Scooby-Doo gang somehow. You'd have a good movie. I would love to see a retry with Scooby-Doo in a little more of a serious universe, but still silly and fun. Not sure how they'll do Scooby, but maybe keeping him very light and simple. But back to talking about Ghostbusters, all of these figures have been pretty well done. Same proton pack on back, same type of articulation, although each one has their name printed on chest, which is pretty neat. I didn't notice that until now. You can see Spengler is written there on her chest piece there, so each one has their name, which is fun. And as for the ghost, what is this, Skeletor's friend? I think a few years ago with Afterlife, didn't they have those little transforming mini ghosts? These have been so much better this time. They're just more interactive with the toy, uh, for sure. I mean, you can either have it over here and she's trying to capture it, or it's trying to capture her. <laughs> oh, yuck. That's a lot of bone uh, to wrap around. Oh, he doesn't want to wrap around her big hair uh, very easily. <laughs> there you go. So these, these have been great fun. And once to remind, that price point of 10 bucks works pretty well. We check out the Ecto-1 next? I think we definitely have to check out the Ecto-1 next. Wow, it's huge. Look at the box art. That is so fantastic. I'm glad they relaunched the Ecto-1 here again, as always. I actually traded on my Ecto-1 from Afterlife, as it was a little bit in the way, but I'm gonna try to hold on to this one. This is the Track and Trap with more Ecto Stretch Tech. On the back, you get just a really nice basic Ecto with these builds. They fit a lot of figures, usually we have the deployable side chair, and this time we've got a flight drone in the city versus the roller drone we saw in the afterlife. Oh, and look, you could even like cut this out and pretend you are a Ghostbuster. That's like old school. And I think this also has a second Slimer. Is that the same? I think it might just be the same as Slimer. Too bad they couldn't come up with a different ghost for this pack. So let's uh, back this up and drive it back in, see what we have. And rolling in this year's Landry, no wait! Oh. Well, now Landry's a ghost too. Sorry about that, bud. So here is 2024's Ecto-1, and if you're thinking it looks pretty much like 2020 Squeeze, or whenever the last Ecto was out, I believe it's pretty much the same deal. The same mold, everything feels to look about the same. Only main difference is now we have the Ghost Trap drone up top versus the ghost trap roller that used to roll right out of here. I placed down one of the dart launchers in there for now. So it's it's pretty much the same thing. It does the job though. It has the retractable, or is that detractable? Ooh, I did it wrong. I did hit a squirrel with it, so it's off a little bit. It has the retractable side shooter seat, just like it did before. And there's room for some. We've got a driver's seat right there. We'll load Trevor in as he does so well at driving. And Phoebe, let's place Phoebe up here. I think we'll have to take off her pack and we're good for a ride. Oh, the launcher, of course, back here again. It's a little cumbersome. It clips onto the side here, but it's not going to fit back in when you wheel her back in. It hits the chair that Trevor's sitting on. So it's not perfect, but it's still easy fun and a good price point. I think this ran about 35. Not too bad. It's got good paint, it's got good decal, it's dirty. It'll get the ghosts trapped. And I'm actually good with it. I gave away my previous Ecto-1, so now I wanted to keep this one, hold on to this one. Although these stickers are just not gonna hold. You can't forget the drone, you can fit it up top here, the ghost trap drone. Also just as fun as the road crawler drone, there is the uh, box on the bottom. You can see a little bit easier there with the stripes and each of the four props spin around. I noticed it said you might be able to plug it in the back, but I think it fits best up top here, almost like it's floating with the Ecto-1. Oh, and the Ecto-1 also had the Ecto Stretch involved, another Slimer. It looks to be almost identical to the one that came with the uh, Gary there, but this one here, this one here though, this one's arms feel down a little more and maybe just slightly different. So maybe it is different enough to be its own new unique figure, but cool to see uh, a Slimer involved as always. Well, we got one more figure to look at. Well, two more things to look at. 
We got to take a look at Callie, the fourth available figure from this Ghostbusters wave, Callie Spangler. And she has the, a class eight full possessor ghost. I like how brightly colorful those ghosts are. Well, Callie, try to slink your way out of that pack. And Callie out of package with a class eight. I like these cartoonish style figures, although she looks about 20 years younger than she should. At the store, I was like, is that one of the kids? I, I forgot who was who, and well, sure enough, Callie looks pretty young in a uh, adult mode here, but works well for a figure. Her box, though, they got the box better, the card art on the box, that works, I think. As for the stage eight, what do we got here? It looks like a garbage bag, a pink garbage bag. Inside, we have, ah, Landry, whoa. Oh my gosh. I would say class nine though, possessed also by squirrel. These are fun though. They're, they're so highly detailed and so simple. And I like the fact that it's something different than slime. Uh, it's a little easier to clean up. And I like how you can kind of just wrap these things around the figure and almost possess the figure real easily by just kind of getting over the head and maybe over the top of the arms. Or maybe even if you really try stretching, you can kind of get it over the full figure. Down to her toes. I mean, they might bend back on you really quickly, those hips, but if you do it right, you can get her completely class aided. Let's see if we can get Phoebe too. Nah, I don't think I could get a full possession on Phoebe. She's just too cool. Well, maybe on that Lego, it's just gonna fly off. Well, you could also use them as slingers. Whoa. Ooh, ooh. Oh, best figure for last. We're gonna go all retro with the bright features. Peter Venkman and Gruesome Twosome Ghost. So an original, kind of what they looked like back in the day from Kenner before Kenner became Hasbro or Hasbro Bot Kenner. I think that's how it went down. So there's your old school collection. Venkman being this week's my favorite character. Obviously Egon Spengler would be a great one to find too. I think these two are the best just because the open jaw scream is pretty funny and the eyeball scream uh, the ears on Ray, not so much. Winston's got a good one, actually, too. His whole face opens up, so both Winston and Egon might be fun, too, to look for. But Peter Venkman is here from the four real Ghostbusters. This is a total fidget toy. I gotta get this out of the pack. And Peter is out along with the gruesome twosome. So obviously not really in a Bill Murray-esque look. This is from the real Ghostbusters. A cartoon that followed along the Ghostbusters series back in the day just because there was another Ghostbusters show by Hanna-Barbera so they kind of had to be like, oh, this is the real Ghostbusters. Got a little confusing, but they're still pretty fun. Let's check out his fright feature. It's tied into his left arm so when you squeeze his left arm in, Look at that, his hair goes flying. That works so much better than Dr. Eggman. Mr. Dr. Eggman on stage earlier in the year. Maybe this is the series I've been like, what does the toupee popping remind me of? It might have been this collection right here. But this goes up a full half an inch maybe. It's quite noticeable. Mr. Dr. Eggman's toupee only lifts up about maybe an eighth of an inch. They don't make them like they used to, don't they, do they? Oh, this is such a great fidget toy. Oh, this is good stuff. Ah, ah, oh, ah, ee. You could do that for hours. Now from the backside. Woo, ah, my toupee. Woo, woo, ah, ha, ha. Good stuff. As for stuff included, accessory, he's got a little capture claw, ghost capture claw that can rein them in. You could either hang the gruesome twosome off this claw here. Or if the gruesome twosome captures and possesses Venkman, they could either wrap around his head like so, and of course, ah, 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 that would commence. And uh, even, I think you could even get his hands in there. You could capture his hands, although they're a little tight. Uh, you gotta kinda wiggle them in there. But it is another option for the gruesome twosome there. Just fun, old school, 80s style stuff. Love that fright feature. Yikes, yikes. Yikes. So we'll keep Peter Venkman for sure. All right, our final, final thing. I keep saying final and there's more things that just ghostly appear. We've got Gujitsu here. Gujitsu Ghostbusters Squishy Stay Puffed. 
I feel like a marshmallow. Now this is gonna be so much more satisfying, I think, than last time when we dug into that Ecto Stay Puff squishy compound that basically was the worst compound I ever dealt with. It got stuck to my fingers. I even threw a couple out because it was so bad. It was so impossible to clean. It was like playing in Elmer's glue. But with this, all that's contained with inside our Heroes of Gujitsu. So I like that, I think that's a great idea. There we've got unique goo filling, Ghostbuster squishy Stay Puff stretch and twist. He's gonna be fun. So let's get this one out of pack. This might even just be the most perfect Stay Puff toy ever just because of the compound uh, idea of Heroes of Goo. There he is out of pack. Unfortunately, they make often the movieverse stuff uh, some of the Marvel and DC and Turtles, some of the tie-ins that Gujitsu does, they often make them just a little bit smaller than your typical hero of Gujitsu. This guy feels about a half an inch to an inch shorter than normal, but he's so squishy. You can't really hear it, but oh, he's already flattened out. Good stuff. This is so perfect. How far can we go? Of course, up to three times their size. Look at that face. Look at that, that mischievous, devious, squishy face. His blue collar and handkerchief are tied down to his head pretty tight. It is one solid piece. I like how this guy's scaled in a way that could be both super large, you could pretend both super large and you could pretend super small. So it just works and it's really squishy satisfying. There's got to be Marshmallow in there. I just can't see anything else. It's got to be marshmallow filling. I wonder if that's what they really used. Maybe more like flour, but it's been a fun one. This has been certainly fun. If they could team up with Gujitsu and get all the ghosts to be made of this style, it would have been pretty fun. So keep an eye out for this dude, either really close to where the Ghostbusters are or just over by where the Gujitsus are. He's usually hanging around Walmart. I've seen him a couple times. And that is pretty much everything I picked up for the 2024 Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Is that what it's called? Yeah, <laughs> Frozen Empire. I totally still have Godzilla x Kong the new empire in my brain set. So when I see Frozen Empire, I think, wow, what are the odds they both chose Empire in their title in about the same uh, week or two week period of release date. But they have been fun. These figures, the basic figure assortment is always more my favorite than say the legend style figure, which are fun and highly detailed, but these are more for fun and play and goofery, which is all about the stampede of squirrels. So if you're looking for something fun, pick up a couple figures and maybe an Ecto or a couple figures and a Slimer or a couple figures and Stay Puff and you'll have a ghost of a time. So can we somehow get um, Ghost Squirrel back to its realm, please? Yeah, maybe if you guys team up, we can cross those streams and get that Ghost Squirrel back to its empire. All right, nicely done. There they go. The streams are crossing. They're crossing. And... Oh, Landry's back. You brought Landry back from the roadkill. Much appreciated. We need his help. How about try one more time and see if we can get this squirrel back to its afterlife. Oh, whoo! Ghost Squirrel has been sent back to its dimension. Will it be the last time we see Ghost Squirrel? Hard to say, but I fear we will not see the last of him. And that's the Ghostbusters Frozen Empire collection that I pulled this year. Pretty fun seeing Slimer. Would have been fun to see a few other main villain ghosts from Frozen Empire, but maybe those will be here or there around the squirrel. If you liked today's video, please give us a squike, squirrel live, squamit, your favorite Ghostbusters, the new Empire figure. Thank you so much for watching. That's what I have to say about that. <laughs>